Franklin. Franklin. Hey, you excited to start a YouTube channel? I'm Mike, I'm Joe, and this is Cart Life TV. What's up YouTube? Welcome to the channel. My name is Mike and this is the first episode of Cart Life TV and this is my 2007 Club Car DS. This is the latest incarnation of my uh, club card DS. This golf cart's awesome. I've had this golf cart for a long time. I actually originally purchased it in 2010 um, for a job I was working on and I was able to purchase it again about a year ago. Super excited to have it. It's an awesome cart. It's got tons of miles on it. It's got tons of adventures behind it. But what we're gonna do here on Cart Life TV is put this thing through some tests. Most people know golf carts as something that you drive around locally or on a golf course. Um, in Florida, we do have these street legal. This is actually considered a low speed vehicle here in Florida, uh, which is really exciting because we can drive it on the roads pretty much anywhere within reason, except for highways and high speed roads. Um, what we're gonna do on Cart Life TV is actually push this thing to the limit and see how far we can actually drive this thing. Key West is about 225 miles away. I've talked to a couple people. They think I'm crazy for even thinking about it, but what I'm gonna do along with my buddy Joe, is set this golf cart up to go 225 miles all the way down to Key West. That means going over seven mile bridge. That means taking A1A all the way down to Florida City. It's a long haul. I don't know that it's ever been done before, but we're gonna try and do it. Now I know what you guys are thinking. Key West, the southernmost point, 225 miles south of Boca Raton. How the hell are they gonna get there on a golf cart? Well, to be honest, I have no idea, but I do know one thing. I can't get there by myself. So I'm gonna need help, and I want you guys to meet my buddy, Joe. This is Joe. He's an action guy. He's a child of the 80s and grew up motocross racing in Pennsylvania. This guy doesn't say no to anything, which makes him the perfect partner to Cart Life TV and this adventure to Key West by golf cart. Going on. Not much, man. Remember how I told you we were going to start a YouTube channel? Yep. Well, this is it. So this is the first episode of Cart Life TV, Joe. What do you think? I think it uh, sounds good. Sounds good. All right. I know uh, you're the man when it's uh, when it comes to action and getting things done. And um, I want to kind of drop a little surprise on you. I think what we're going to do is get this golf cart right here ready for a 225 mile trip to Key West. What do you think? I think that's a long way to drive. I'm I, up for it, though. Yeah, you think we could do it? I think we can do anything we want to. I think so, too. Um, so I was kind of showing everybody the uh, the 2007 Club Car DS here, uh, which you know pretty well by now, um, is a beast of a golf cart and a workhorse, right? Yeah, for sure. And uh, I think if any cart is going to make it to Key West, or any trip 225 miles i think it's gonna be a cart kind of like this definitely has to be a gas cart yeah we can't stop every 20 miles to charge we definitely can't stop any <laughs> every yeah we can't stop to charge this thing uh that's for sure so um i know that uh as is it's probably not gonna be ready to go on a trip like that so i think that we're gonna have to uh come up with some enhancements and some uh some improvements on it to get it ready for a 225 mile trip to Key West. And now we all know Key West is the southernmost point of the continental United States, right? Yes. Sure. And we all know that the only way to get there is over a seven mile long bridge <laughs> <laughs> that, uh, that goes over a lot of, uh, a lot of beautiful Florida waters, right? A lot of beautiful waters and really high spot in the middle, a really high spot in the middle. <laughs> and it's uh, really hot. I Very think it's uh, it's June right now, filming this, and uh, it's no cooler in Key West. If anything, it's probably probably hotter. Yes, much hotter. We also know that by car, it takes 
what four hours four hours if you're lucky four hours I'll if you're lucky goes what 25 26 miles an hour something like that yep and uh, if you do the math 25 miles an hour 225 miles is what nine hours or so yeah and that's non-stop that's non-stop and that's probably going to be nearly impossible um so we got to figure out a way to make this thing go faster but we're also going to be putting on some weight on this thing because i don't think we want to go down without a cooler and i don't think we want to go down without some safety equipment at least the toolkit and some spare parts and things like that because we don't want to get stuck anywhere anywhere on uh on the highway or the road right Especially not one of the bridges. Especially not one of the bridges, I know. Um, so a I mean, long way to push across the seven mile bridge. We definitely don't want to be pushing this thing. <laughs> <laughs> but I think, um, I think the best thing to do is kind of go through it and figure out what we, uh, what we want to bring with us, right? Yeah, now I am. So I think a couple of the things we need to do to this thing, Joe, are uh, a light bar, right? We might need some light and it'll be better to be seen on the highway too, I think. Um, we're definitely going to need a cooler. Uh, we're going to need something to carry the cooler with on the back uh, while also keeping some some space in the cargo area. Uh, back here we have a flip seat. I know it's nothing special and I know all you golf cart guys already know about these things, but this is a flip seat and we do have the, uh, the storage down there. This is the Mad Jacks flip seat. Um, so I guess we should get the uh, cooler carrier for the back. Um, probably going to want some kind of safety flag. It is pretty treacherous on overseas highway. Yeah, it's, you definitely want to be seen going across. We'll move fast, so we'll probably get some kind of a whip antenna and a, uh, a safety flag so people can see us. We might want to look at adding some brake lights or some more lighting to the back also because I, I don't think we could. I don't think we could be too safe. I don't think that's. I don't think that's an understatement um, on traveling. I know these things go locally, no problem, but I don't know if anyone's ever driven one to Key West before. It's a long way to go. It's a long way to go. <laughs> um, we do have the, the lightweight top, so we're good there. Um, but I think we're going to need a first aid kit. We're going to need plenty of drinks. We're going to need a fire extinguisher because this is a gas cart. I think we're going to need to get it tuned up before we go, and I definitely think we're going to need to do some, some test runs, um, probably some local stuff. I know West Palm Beach. Palm Beach Island is about 25 miles away. We can go there and back 50 miles. That's definitely a good benchmark to kind of see how uh, how long it takes us because A1A is one of the roads we're going to be taking gas mileage most also. of the way and gas mileage. Yeah, we might want to look at a way to mount some roto packs like they have on the Jeeps, right? Yeah, so we can take cool. some gas with us. Um, I know we could fill up regularly because we're going to be pa passing gas stations uh, the whole way down until we get to certain parts of the Keys where they're spread out more. Um, but I don't think that's something we should take lightly. I definitely think we need to make sure we have enough fuel. Um, we definitely want to make sure we could load this thing up and test it uh, at full weight with two kind of fat dudes on it um, before uh, before we before we leave, so we know what our top speed is. Well, you're you are you are equipped with a trailer hitch there, so yeah, that makes we got things the trailer hitch makes things a lot easier. We got the carrier there, so we can plug in the uh, thing. We're probably gonna need to move the license plate down. Um, so I'm assuming the cooler is going to uh, going to block that. Uh, we have power in the taillights that we could tap off of for some kind of a uh, trailer connector so we can, you know, move and re uh, re so we can uh, remove and put it back in quickly um, in case we do have to stop overnight. I don't think we want to leave all of our gear outside. No. Um, and I'm assuming we're going to need USB ports everywhere because we're going to be filming this whole thing, right? Yeah. So we're going to have to upgrade Make some it electrical easier. too. We don't want wires running all over the place. No. No, so... I think that's about it. Um, we got tunes, we got USB ports, we got a gas gauge, we got a speedometer. Um, we got probably one of the most heavy duty golf carts ever made, uh, the DS. I know all my cart heads know that the DS is a, uh, is a workhorse. So I think we got the right cart for the job. There it is, nice shirt, dude. It's official. Cart Life TV. Here we are, there's the official Cart Life shirt. I guess all we... Uh, all we have to do now is get this thing ready to go to Key West. Yep. I think first thing we should do is hook up with that cooler. Hook up with that cooler, figure out the trailer, figure out what we need, and uh, and start building it. Yep. Keep you in touch, informed, let you know the progress, see how it goes. That's it.
What's up, guys? That was the first episode of Cart Life TV. I'm Mike. This is Joe. This is the 2007 Club Car DS that's going to go 225 miles south to the southernmost point of Florida. I don't know. You think we're going to make it? I definitely think we're going to make it. I think we're going to make it, too. If you want to see what happens next, make sure you subscribe to Cart Life TV. Next episode, we're going to be building this cart into the beast that is going to go 225 miles. We'll be doing some local runs, too, so stay in touch for that. They got, definitely have to stay in touch for the test run to West Palm Beach also. Yes. I like those glasses, dude. New Oakleys? Yep. Daughter bought them for me for Father's Day. He's got a good daughter. All right, guys. <laughs> we'll catch you in episode two. All right. Peace. Peace.